on your seventh and apparently final title. Living the American dream. You come back to the open finalist, Dan, and this is where the rubber's about to hit the road. This is it, folks, the last comparison for the title of Mr. Olympia. Let's set it down to the table. Big Steve. Thank you, Bob. Phil and Brandon, switch, please. Roly and William, switch, please. Gentlemen, spread out and hit a front double bicep. All right, the last time these guys will be prepared, history will be made one way or the Front other. You cannot spread. stop progress. Phil will either win or he will not. And either way, it will be a historic moment by the time Steve Weinberger is done with these final comparisons. Side chest. One side note, that is Brandon, soul brother number one, Curry, that is in that top five. Call out. It's a very unfamiliar place, but well deserved. I Back take out by several that. big names, including Cedric McMillan and Dexter Jackson and Big Rami. We now see Brandon Curry making his first ever appearance in the top five of a Mr. Olympia. Spread out, guys. Everyone take a step. Bill directing traffic up there, making sure Back double there's box plenty of room. That's a veteran, especially when you got $400,000 on the line and an eighth Sandow trophy you're fighting for. You want to have plenty of space, Dan, on that stage. And right now, they all Back are serious. Friend. Sean, I'm going to just ask you this one question. Has anything changed in the way you see this competition from last night go, to right now? Um, Man, this is coming down to the wire. Because again, we counted the poses. And if we're going numerically on the poses, Sean Roden slightly edges out. But again, Phil's signature poses are carrying him in this dogfight right here. But it's hard for me to stop looking at what Roden is presenting on that stage here tonight. I've only witnessed Dan personally one upset on this uh, Olympia platform, and that was back in 2008. and thighs. Took out the reigning defending champion in the form of Jay Cutler. Now that case was 10 years ago. And uh, if it happens again here tonight, the question will remain, if Phil gets beat, does he come back next year to try to make history? That's gonna be well, the bigger question. We know what happens. We saw Jay Cutler defeat Ronnie Coleman. We've Your favorite most muscular. Dexter Jackson defeat Jay Cutler. We saw Lee Haney beat Samir Badu in 1984. And we saw Phil Heath defeat Jay Cutler. We've seen this story play out. So it, history suggests that it can happen. That's an impressive pose by the champion, Phil Heath. Right Thank now, I'd like to see Sean Rhodes fighting a little bit harder at this point. But I, uh, I think Sean's done enough, bro. I mean, I'm looking at this in real time. Yep. And I got Sean Rhodes right now with a very narrow, very tight upset in this contest. Well, here it is. If the, apparently, if the fans in the audience have something to say about it, Ruli Winkler is their Olympia champion, but uh, Phil Heath from Arvada, Colorado is here. He's trying to win the title for the eighth time. And as you mentioned, a tremendous showing for Brandon Curry, who continues to quietly and slowly move into the top group. Um, Sean Roden and Bill's dragging Sean to hit his favorite pose, and Sean is playing into that. Sean should turn around right now and hit an abdominal and thigh shot while Phil hits his favorite pose, which is his back shot. Sean, is anything happening right now that will influence the outcome of this competition? Those judges right now are just double checking to make sure that they've done their due diligence, which I can appreciate. And these guys are entertaining us while the judges are doing what they've done. This thing is being judged right now. And I gotta tell you, if you're gonna give Sean Roden the title of Mr. Olympia, you better make sure that you dot the I across the T's. But yeah. I can tell you, he would be worthy of that recognition should they decide to and go they that are route. chasing the champ phil heath moves to the left side of the stage as does the rest of the pack william bonak again another 
tremendous Olympia appearance. It won't be good enough to win, but it was good enough to remain among the very best on the planet. Bill is very smart in showing his back during all of these poses. That's his number one pose. It's how this show's won and lost. He won this contest last year on those back shots, and he could do enough to win it here again tonight. So this show is still up for grabs as we come to the wire. In a few moments, we will see history. Either an eighth Sandow for Phil Heath, or the crowning of the 14th winner of this contest. So the, uh, the feeling in the arena is palpable. There's a lot of intensity, and people know that this thing is very much up for grabs. I can tell you on the look on Phil's face, he's struggling, Dan. And he does not look as supremely confident as he did uh, in prior victories. Sean, I can't remember the last time at this very moment that we were as unclear as we are right now. We're both witnessing history. Like you said, one way or the other. The award representing DPI Sports is COO, Mr. Chris McKenzie. Please take the fifth place award, the fifth place check for $45,000. And present it to Brandon Curry. All right, another strong Olympia for Brandon Absolutely. Curry, and he moves into the top five, which means he is now qualified for the 2019 Mr. Olympia. Uh, he'll pick up a nice check, and also he will command the status and the respect that comes with being in this very exclusive club. He's probably had the hardest run of them all with four kids running around, long uh, times away from the family over there at Oxygen Gym. This is the best he's ever done in this show and I'm sure we'll see more in the future. Presenting the fourth place award representing MHP, the CEO, Gerard Dente. This will be interesting, Dan. Rowley and William did not stand next to each other and get compared. Looking in the eyes of the Please champion, the gotta wonder what he's thinking right now. But first, let's hear who finishes fourth place. And present it to William the Conqueror, Bonin. As predicted yesterday, Dan, I thought he came in a little heavy. He dropped one notch, which is not a slap in anybody's face, but he's a little too heavy on this stage. If he dries up a little bit more, drops a little bit of weight, and that's hard to say. I think he'll streamline this physique and be right back in the hunt again. But right now, he's just remaining in the top four. And he came off an Arnold Classic Championship. That's not an easy thing to do. And a year ago, he didn't have to deal with that. And then there were three, the top three bodybuilders on the planet. Phil Heath, Willie Winkler, and Sean Roden await the announcement of third place. Roley is in a very unfamiliar Presenting the position at this moment. It's Kevin K. Please take the third place award, the Olympia bronze medal, the check for $100,000 to your third place finisher, Rooley Winkler. All right, Sean Ray, your people's champion is the number three bodybuilder in the world. A terrific Olympia showing for Rooley as he continues to fine tune that massive physique, those freaky proportions, and he has turned it in to what is now one of the top physiques on the planet. Ruli Winkler is your third place finisher. With $100,000 to show for it, man, that was earned the hard way. Ruli Winkler, very deserving, very popular, and his status and his stock in this industry has just gone up twofold. And then, Dan, there were two. If I could please have Sean Roden and Phil Heath on the center line, please. We've seen this play out before as Phil Heath held off a fast charging Sean Roden several years back. And now we are going to see the rubber match. And what's at stake? The runner up will win $150,000. The winner will win $400,000.
And in Olympia tradition, Bob Ciccarillo will probably Ladies announce and the, the next winner. Name you hear That's right. Will be your 2018 Mr. Olympia. The first place award, representing Midway Last, Mr. Wilton Kali and Catherine Kali, and our IFBB Pro League President, Mr. Jim Mannion. I will now announce the winner of the 2018 Olympia. Please take the Sandow Trophy. The Olympia gold medal, the check for $400,000, and the title of 2018, Mr. Olympia. To our winner, and new Olympia champion. Ooh, there it is. It has happened in Las Vegas. For just the 14th time, we have a new Mr. Olympia. The defending champion has been knocked out. Sean Roden is your 2018 Olympia champion. Phil Heath's run, at least for now, will end at seven in one of the more improbable developments. Phil Heath stands at center stage congratulating the winner, Sean Roden, and I gotta tell you, Sean Ray, coming into this weekend, there weren't many people that would have ever dared to predict this outcome. Absolutely, and I wasn't one of those guys that thought that for two seconds. However, I talked to a fellow professional bodybuilding friend of mine from Italy, Gianrico Pica, who saw Sean Roden on Wednesday night the day I arrived. He has a show coming up, the Amateur Olympia in Italy next weekend. He said he saw Sean Roden and Sean Roden was gonna win this show, and I looked him in the eye, and I could not believe what he was saying. Sean Roden has accomplished what no other man has in over 10 years. Our coverage is gonna continue after the break. Stick around, guys. All right, we are back. An historic night here in Las Vegas. Sean Roden has just been crowned Mr. Olympia in one of the more improbable developments in the history of this contest. Very few people saw this coming. There was an expectation that some guys would push Phil to the limit. Sean Roden was not on many of those lists, especially after what played out last year where he finished fifth. And uh, here he is, the final man standing, and Phil Heath's run ends at seven, where he will, re he will remain tied with the great Arnold Schwarzenegger. Bob Chick just asked, did the judges get it right? And to a resounding applause, they said yes. I believe Sean's waiting for his kid to come on stage uh -oh. to share Olympia the moment. Sean Roden a year ago had a kid, and uh, a couple years ago, I should say, which takes your eye off the prize, and there she is. That dress has got all kind of stuff on it now, but it's got that gold medal, and she'll remember this moment years to come. And a reminder, do not put your kids in white when you have pro can on. I know, sweetie, I feel the same way. Sean Roden, you're the new Mr. Olympia. Wow, what a great fight, Sean. Everybody can see yesterday that you brought it. You brought your A game and you came here to, what's the matter, sweetie? You wanna say something? It's daddy. Said hi, daddy. Hi, Nanya. Guess what? Daddy's Mr. Olympia. Hi, Nanya. She said congratulations. Here's something you can play with, look at. Wow, look at that. Isn't that cool? All right, let's talk with the champ. Sean, congratulations, my friend. You have done the unthinkable. 
You have beaten the great and seven-time Olympia champion, Phil Heath. You believed in yourself. You told everybody you were not messing around. You came here to win, and you are the new Mr. Olympia. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for coming out and showing support to all these amazing athletes, uh, Jim Mannion, AMI, Steve Weidmerger, all these wonderful judges. Thank you guys so much to my family for making it out here. Man, it's, it's, it's been a long journey. It's been a long journey and I'm thankful for today and yesterday that I was able to fight my way something that I believe that I was going to be number 14. And you are number 14. Only 14 men in history since 1965 have held this title. Some of those great names that you know, of course. And you just beat a hell of a champion in Phil Heath, a seven-time champion. Nobody thought he could be beaten, but you did it. Yeah, I've been watching Phil since 2012, taking a lot of notes and I know people might laugh at me when I say that, hey, one day I was going to be Mr. Olympia, but here I am, folks. <laughs> this was probably my hardest prep ever, but I wanted it so bad. I'm thankful that I'm here. Well, Sean, look at that Sandow trophy down there. That's going to look really nice up on that mantle, isn't it? that far you know <laughs> this past couple of days has just been a roller coaster you know I have a great supporting cast Chris Aceto of Psycho Fitness my training partner make it to the Olympia for the first time stamina and I'm gonna tell you man they beat the crap out of me this past couple of months just to get here and to all you fans out here for your support You know, every time I look and I hear someone say, Sean is too small, Sean is spending too much time with his family, Sean looks like he's retired, but it's okay. We had a game plan and we stuck to it, and we found our way to come here. We did everything that I possibly could have can to look good this weekend. Well, Sean, you certainly did more than look good. You look great, and the judge is certainly rewarding that with an Olympia victory. Take, take me through yesterday. After pre-judging, what were your feelings after you stepped off this stage? To be honest, man, I walked out of here yesterday and I looked at Chris and I said, it's only Friday. You know, I know a lot of people had me, you know, winning or a close second, but I just looked at Chris and said, it's only Friday, Chris. We still have Saturday, let's just focus on today. And that's what we did, one day at a time. What did you think when you came here tonight for the final, Sean? Did you think you had it? Did you think Phil was going to eat you? We all know Phil comes back better on Saturday, so you knew you had a battle uh, coming up tonight. But what were your feelings? Did you think you had it? Listen, guys, Phil is no slouch. I've been chasing him since 2012, so I know in the back of my mind, I'm like, hey, you know what? He's missed a Saturday night. He could come in here and he could look his all-time best. But again, I looked at Chris Cedar and Chris said, hey, you know what, Sean? You'll be better than you were yesterday. And if that man believe in me, I'm good. All right, Sean Roden, right here in the center, I want you to hit your first pose as your new 2018 Mr. Olympia. to get back, Sean. Well, there he is, ladies and gentlemen. 14. I don't even want to use the word lucky. This was earned, Dan, the hard way. And please help me in celebrating your new Olympia champion, what's the draw, Sean. Roden. Sean Roden, as we've known through the years, is a man of few words. He lets his physique do all the talking. He did just that tonight, and um, it took 54 years. 
Right, we have ourselves a 14th champion by way of Jamaica. This is a guy that took seven years off of bodybuilding to take care for his ailing father who passed away, came back, turned pro by winning the North America Championships, and slowly started to serve notice by winning the Arnold Classic over in Spain. Uh, just came out and got second runner-up here, and now he became the Buster Douglas of modern-day bodybuilding by knocking out the reigning defending champion. And here's our top five leaderboard. These interviews every year where we get to stand here and talk to the winner of the Mr. Olympia. It's one of the great privileges, one of the great things that I get to do each and every year is talk to the number one bodybuilder in the world in the moments after an Olympia is settled. And I'm not going to lie to you, Sean, never in a million years did I imagine that I'd be standing here talking to you as the greatest champion. Having said that, when you walked out tonight and what you presented last night and again tonight, it was extraordinary. The fans around the world agreed with the decision. You delivered something remarkable. You bounced back from a year ago where you were off and you talked about some of those trials and tribulations going into last year's competition. And in one of the more improbable turn of events, you have won a Sandow Trophy. You are the 14th man to do so. So for that, we congratulate you on an extraordinary achievement. Thank you. Um, it's, wow, I haven't sunk in this yet, <laughs> but um, it's been a long, long year from last Olympia, broken jaw, Mouth wired shut, had to eat to a straw, had to blend all my food. Still able to fight my way to the top five last year, and when I started my prep this year for the Arnold Classic, ended up with two bleeding ulcer, and you know, eight blood transfusion, had to pull out the last couple of weeks. And I wanted to make a statement for this year's Olympia, and when I t told people it's going to win the Olympia this year. A lot of people kind of laughed at me because I looked like I was uh, about to be retired. <laughs> but I have a great coach, Chris Aceto, a great trainer, um, Psycho Fitness 21, and a training partner that will never let me quit. Plus, my family was always like, hey, you know what? Just focus. Let's get down to brass taxes here. You beat a really good champion tonight. You beat a great champion. Phil Heath has done remarkably over the last seven years winning this title and uh, he came in very confident this weekend he thought he had this thing coming into the competition you were very confident as we saw from the very early phases of the weekend you came out here took care of business talk about not what it feels like to be mr olympia talk about what it feels like to defeat the great phil heath you know i've been on stage with phil since 2011. Um, it's a great feeling man because again Phil is no slouch. You have Dexter Jackson, former Mr. Olympia also, that were on stage. And I know these guys are two champions, and they worked their butt off, and everybody was going to come in here firing an all cylinder. So uh, Roly Winkler and William Bonac move up the chain last year, this year. One thing that my coach told me is, like, Sean, just stay in your own lane. Don't worry about what anybody else is doing. Just focus on what you need to do. The only thing that we need to do here for this year Olympia is to bring the best Sean Roden ever. Because if you bring the best Sean Roden ever, it's going to be very hard for anyone to beat you. And I believe. You're also one of the oldest men to win this competition for the first time. Um, I think Chris Dickerson may have been a year older. Uh, how old are you? Can you put out the number? I'm 43. 43. I think Chris Dickerson was also 43 when he won the competition. So hopefully some of our historians out there will determine if you are the oldest to actually win the contest for the first time. How many more years? I'll be back. I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> well, I, I do want to just um, put some perspective for you, if I could, before I let you run. The Olympia Winners Club is the most prestigious club in this sport. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Sergio Oliva, Dorian Yates, the Ronnie Coleman's, Jake Cutler's, you are Phil Heath, you are in that club. No matter what happens for you going forward, no matter what happens to you for the rest of your life, you are forever a Mr. Olympia champion. Pick up that Sandow trophy and show the world what you have just done. 
remarkably, extraordinarily, impressively, and well-deserved. Sean Roden, your 2018 Mr. Olympia champion. Any final thoughts before you get out of here and go eat? Just want to thank my family for putting up with me the last couple of weeks. <laughs> uh, you know, I miss my family, you know, training in L.A. You know, my coach, Chris Aceto and Psycho Fitness. Thank you guys so much for continuing to believe in me when everybody else stopped. And then there were 14. Sean Roden, congratulations, our newly crowned Olympia champion. I think that's going to wrap things up here from Las Vegas at the Orleans Arena. Our coverage of Joe Weider's Olympia weekend has now come to an incredible close with the crowning of a new champion. They often say in this sport of bodybuilding, the most memorable nights are the nights where a champion is crowned for the very first time. And Sean Roden, thanks to you, you have given us that moment. For all of us here, we appreciate the hard work of Robin Chang and everybody over at the Olympia production team, our director, Luz Wick, my co-hosts, Amanda Latona and Hall of Famer, Sean Ray. For our newly crowned champion, Sean Roden, I'm Dan Solomon. Good night.